Hi, this is Adrian Divinol from Bitactic, and this is an analysis of Simbra 8 Beta 5 new features. So, first of all, I'm going to show you the login screen. This is the VMware Simbra Admin Console uh, login screen, and this is the VMware Simbra Web Client login screen. So, uh, what we can see at the first glance is that colors are blue and white there is no more red or gray so that you identify VMware and not Simbra and it's quite nice this uh, mirror effect at the bottom of the uh, login so um, we are going to first check the admin console part and then we will see the Simbra web client interface. So let's get in. So um, here we have the loading screens. There are some messages in Spanish. Whatever the reason is because browser is set up in English. And my account is also uh, set in English. Okay. So, the biggest change we can find in admin art interface is uh, the left panel. The left panel um, has all the menus that we, all we used to have um, simplified here. So, we just click on whatever option we want to and it appears here and there's no more boot buttons on the top and there are no more tabs so um, if you go to configure global settings instead of having the tabs here you have them in the left panel so you have MTA in app, pop and all these tabs here and left. And um, the options, the buttons that you have at the top are found at what I call the, the actions button. So here it is, just a wheel, uh, matching wheel which you can uh, drop, uh, drop down, down and drop and here there are the, the options. So, um, another thing that's quite interesting is the home screen. So, the, the screen that you see when you log in is that you have a new help. So, uh, in former versions, you have to take a look at the manual. I mean, you have to have it printed at hand so that you knew that you have to install licenses, config back, backup copies, Install certificates, configure default uh, class of service, and then create the domain if you haven't created one. Configure configure global address list. Configure authentication, and the last step was to add accounts so that you had email accounts so that uh, you you bring you bring and bring service to someone else. So add account, manage account, and uh, migration and coexistence. So um, that's it. It's a, a quite good uh, uh, new feature because you don't have to to um, teach your admin how to use Simbra. The instructions are right here. So uh, at the ta at the same time, in this same home screen. There's a summary. Mm, there are some summary uh, options. Some summary details. So you have a summary of what VMware Simbra version you have, servers that you manage from it, accounts, domains, class of service. Uh, one was the last backup copy. Uh, how's the runtime going on? If there is any work in progress going or not if you got any running task 
and uh, once the server starts here we have the lessons um, uh, warning so uh, one let's see more features of um, Simbra administration so I can show you the monitor uh, options with the server status as always advanced statistics message count with their charts message volume so you can see there, there hasn't been too many activity in this um, this server anti-spam antivirus activity um, so manage you can manage accounts you can manage analysis distribution lists resources you can also um, configure the manage the uh, you can also configure um, class class of service um, to so here we have the default external which is a new feature so um, external class of service is designed for external people when you share items with external users they have these permissions and not the usual default ones so that's a quite great new feature so domains global um, global settings uh, you can see that uh, what I said before that the, the buttons that the tabs that were at the top they are find they are found in the, on the left panel left panel so um, you can also see the simlets where we can find the Cisco and Metal simlets which we will talk later about them we can also see the admin extensions with um, all the stuff, certificates, voice and chat, etc. So um, maybe the the change that's most useful is the domain one. So we just edit a domain, just check the the actions, the new actions button, and um, in the advanced tab, um, here it is we can set a uh, domain quota so um, in previous uh, versions you just went to account limit and you set the maximum accounts for these domains are uh, 1000 accounts and um, uh, you can set uh, depending on the class of service I, I want 100 uh, account that are default class of service so um, um, this class of service has a limit of I don't know one gigabyte per account so you can set up you can set up um, the the amount of space your customers were using in this way but now there's a new way at uh, advanced tab that's the Qota domain uh, sorry the domain Qota setting so you can say this domain has um, 20 gigabytes and just the users can just use it as they want to so uh, there's a warning percent so when you reach the 90 percent of uh, domain aggregate quota so um, just complain to this email in the bottom to the email recipient and the domain aggregate quota is uh, that you set 20 gigabytes and you say you you have bought me 20 gigabytes but I give you 21 so if um, you are between 20 Okay. Uh, let's go.
click. If you are um, between 20 gigabytes and 21 gigabytes, you can define a policy that uh, um, you let the, the customer to send and receive, or you block the send of messages, or you block both send and receive messages. So this is a great new feature. Okay, so at the setup. So, as I was saying, at the setup, a class of service, uh, which is and its default class of service, at the uh, mobile sync tab, we can see all its options. So, now uh, we can set up um, many sync policies. Um, we also can wipe a device if uh, just uh, one of our, our um, employees loses it, uh, lose its phone, so we can just wipe it via ActiveSync. Um, so, um, We are just going to the uh, web client um, web client part. If okay, web client part and. The login, we can choose the standard HTML, HTML interface. So, I'm going to show you uh, new features from uh, Simbra client, Simbra Black client. So, um, when you first log in, uh, you can see now it's hidden, but you can see um, that you can add um, Simbra as a mail to application. That if you click in the mail to link, um, it will open not Simbra desktop or Outlook, but it will open Simbra uh, web client itself. So. We also have the chart tabs, so um, we just uh, right click on a message, tag conversation, and we just select private tag. And if we then share it, yeah, if, if we if we share, let's say, inbox, which are follower that this tag is. The tag is also shown, uh, it's, it's also seen in the other accounts that uh, look at this folder. So this is a great feature because it, it was uh, demanded from our customers and other people. And another um, improvement to the tags is that you can now use up to 64 tags. Um, another improvement is the is the visualization, the conversation view. So uh, view the conversation. So uh, once you are here, uh, usually when when you open uh, an already opened um, message. You can see from which message to to whom, and um, what's nice is that that uh, last is more interface uh, concept. The if you uh, mouse, if you sorry, if you move the mouse over a message, you find the reply reply to all forward more actions buttons. So that's that's very nice. Because uh, less is more. So, um, 
So uh, another option is the at external calendar. So we go to calendar, and in the actions button, which this uh, will uh, button, we can add external calendar. So we can choose between Google Calendar, Yahoo Calendar, and Act External Calendar, which can be of two types, either Caldat account or iCal subscription. So that's it. So now you can have uh, Simbra calendars and perhaps your personal calendars all in one place. So that's very nice feature so that uh, your customer just focus on Simbra and do not open other other um, other applications to check their personal calendars. Um, so we have all our changes in one single place. So one big change in the UI, in the user interface, is the right button. Okay, you mean right button has always been in Zebra. You just click on right button and you get uh, the most uh, useful option just as chair folder options. But uh, this has, um, but it implies that people are supposed to know how to use the right button, the mouse right button, and this uh, that's sometimes not obvious. So uh, we have what we what we call what they call visual right menu. So it's this little triangle here. You click on it, and you've got the same options that you you will see if you clicked on the mouse right button. So this is a great step forward. People can learn themselves how to share a folder. Why is that? Because if you move your mouse over a folder, you see this little triangle here, and you just naturally click on it because you say, oh my god, what's that? What's that triangle? So you click on it and there's the right button, what was previously the right button menu. So the options associated to this folder. So um, this is this is a great step forward because this is analogous to the instructions found at the beginning of the admin screen. So um, another option is another feature improvement is that um, and now conversations are um, are grouped by ID and not by subjects. Let me explain it. So sometimes when you reply to a conversation, you change the subject. You are talking about animals, and you reply changing the subject to dogs and um, what happened in uh, previous Simbra versions is that you will see two conversations. The conversations about animals and the conversation about dogs. You know? And now in Simbra 8 you only see one conversation where both uh, animals and dog subjects are there. So, um, this is uh, great. Because um, depending on how, how many changes the subject had, you you were sometimes lost with messages. So um, we also can say um, another things about Simbra Beta Eight. So uh, similar just as social and linked uh, ones are not building. But don't worry because you can find them, find them at uh, Simbra's gallery. Uh, Simbra Simbra gallery. I mean, um, what we found in Simbra um, in Simbra Eight is built-in is unified communications. So uh, what we could 
some regressions of remo removals that we can see is the um, the um, migration assistant which is uh, no longer found in tools and migration and admin console uh, because actually uh, all these um, utilities and LUTs just uh, start the migration for you and this uh, migration assistant was kind of a, um, not useful because you yes it, it helped you that uh, it finishes generating a file that just you then used in a, in a program then you have to install anyway so uh, what more we can talk about Simbra desktop so Simbra desktop uh, 7.2 is supported in Simbra 8 but there won't be a Simbra desktop 8 and it's not sure what uh, will happen with Simbra 9 or sorry with Simbra Desktop 9 or Simbra Desktop 10. Um, call it to VMware Simbra. Simbra Desktop is no longer needed because there are many ways of, access, of accessing Simbra offline. So another regression is the instant, instant messages instant messaging system. Uh, in Simbra 6 we had um, uh, ha an integrated harbor that actually which actually didn't work very well. It was hidden in Simbra 7 so that means that you have to update from Simbra 6 if you want wanted to en enable it and its substitute is the um, is the unified communication so in uh, voice and chat service you can set up a new uh, voice chat vendor which can be Metal or Cisco so um, in the VMware announcement Cisco is uh, supposed to have a Cisco hover supposed so so here we have the hover that we lost in Simbra 7 and we have it here back so what more we can talk about? We can talk about appliances. So um, uh, there was the Simbra appliance six, and now we have the Simbra appliance eight. So there the wasn't the Simbra appliance seven. So you can upgrade from Simbra appliance eight to sorry, you can you can upgrade from Simbra appliance six to Simbra appliance eight. And if you have uh, Simbra inside an appliance, you can ha can have high availability. So, um, as an example, the VMware fault tolerance, um, you have two machines, two virtual machines synced uh, between one and another, and if one of them crashes, you only lose one pin. So. Um, I think uh, that's all. I mean, uh, I hope you just you have just enjoyed this Simbra 8 analysis, and I beg your pardon because of my English no, not being as perfect as I would want it to be. So I'm Adrian Gimenel from Pitactic. I'm an IT manager. Hi. Have a nice day.